Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCal. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is dedicated to one of my most favorite tips in PowerPoint. In fact, I'd go as far as saying that if I did not have this tip available to me, I wouldn't be as effective in PowerPoint than I am right now. And I mean that, I really, really do. The tip I'm referring to is increasing the number of undos that you have available to you while you're working in PowerPoint. Now, some of you are thinking that this is no big deal, that you don't need this, that this is just not an important tip for you to have. If this sounds like you, then let me prove just how wrong you are. So I have three beautiful slides here that I'm going to use as examples. Now these slides are actually part of a PowerPoint template that SlideCow is currently selling. And the PowerPoint template that I'm referring to is called the Sleek PowerPoint template. If you are a business professional or you do any sort of work in the corporate world, this is definitely a PowerPoint template that you want to check out. It is specifically designed for corporate go-getters who really want to make their message stand out in the office. To learn more about Sleek, click on the info button in the top right corner or simply click on the link in the description. But for right now, let's just go with these slides that we have. So, case study. You're working on a PowerPoint deck. Your boss comes over to you. He looks at your screen. He's noticing what you're working on or something, right? And then your boss tells you, you know what, Yo-Yo? I don't like this slide here. I think you need to take it out, right? Just take it off from the PowerPoint deck. Don't even fight me on it. I just want it gone. And you're like, you know what? All right, fine, no big deal. I worked hard on it, but if it's what the boss wants, it's what the boss wants, right? Let's just say you delete it. It's gone, that's it, right? So then your boss says, all right, I like this, but I don't think we need this text over here. And maybe you can expand the points to, instead of going from three points, you go from six points, right? You're like, all right, fine. And he says, you know, keep it to one color. And you're like, oh, you know what? Okay, fine, no worries. So, you know, you, you pull this over here, you, you group these up. And by the way, remember, these design techniques that I'm teaching you right now are literally just for illustrative purposes. There's really no meaning behind it. I'm not teaching you how to design a slide here. This is literally just to show you how valuable this tip is, right? So, again, I'm just, you know, increasing the size here. I'm highlighting both. Let's just group up these guys here. And then, you know, go to range, align, align, middle. Uh, and then your boss says, you know, I don't like icons. I just want to stick with numbers. Um, so you're just going to put one here. You're going to increase the font size like that. And then once you have the number and you have the text and you have the heading and you have all that stuff, you just, you know, you, you group up everything here. Maybe make like, you know, two more copies here, just like this. And uh, maybe bring that up a bit everything, go to arrange, align, and then distribute vertically, move everything to the left a bit like this, right? And uh, your boss is pretty happy with that, so you just change the numbers to two, change the numbers to three, change the number to four, change the number to five, change the number to six. I'm not really happy with how this slide looks, but hey, we're just going with an indicative example anyway. So we're just going to highlight everything here, make sure it's all centered, maybe move it down a bit. You're also like, yep, that looks good. Okay, move on to the next one, Yo-Yo. And you're like, all right, boss, no worries. You go to the next slide here. And then your boss is like, you know what? I'm not happy with eight points. I want it to go down to six points. So you're like, all right, boss, whatever you need. You know, you delete these two points here. You highlight everything just like this. Group it up. And you go to arrange, align, and then align middle. Sorry, arrange, align, align center. Keep mixing those two up. Bring that up a bit, maybe, just like that. And your boss is like, all right, yeah, I like that. But you know what? I want to go back to the first slide. I think I like that slide. So can you go back and, you know, can you, can you bring that slide back? And you're like, well, you told me to delete it. And you're like, and he's like, yeah, I know. But, you know, I, I think it was a good slide. So I, I think I'm just going to keep that. Yeah, all right. I'm going to try. So then you just press undo. 
But then you slowly start to realize that your fate is sealed because, my friends, you can't go further than this. You cannot go back to the slide that you deleted because you are limited in the amount of undos that you have. So, how many undos do you have? By default, any PowerPoint software that just launches up for the first time or has not been touched for a long time will have 20 undos. And you can see that. You can go to File, you can go to uh, Options here, you can click on Advance, and there you go, right there. It says 20. The maximum number of undos is 20, right? And that is scary because what this is saying is that you literally have only 20 mistakes up to 20 mistakes that you can do at any given time, right, within PowerPoint, within a specific PowerPoint deck. And that should scare you. Because at the end of the day, you and I both know that if you work on PowerPoint often, mistakes are bound to happen. Even the best of us, including myself, right, I make tons of mistakes, right? And it's important for me to be able to go back to the, to the stuff that I did before in order to rectify them, in order to see if it fits, you know? So it doesn't make sense for me to just keep it at 20, right? So what do we do? Now, listen, this is the tip that I'm trying to tell you. We are going to increase this number from 20 to 150. 150 is the maximum amount of undos that you can have at any given time in PowerPoint, right? I'm going to press enter. And before I go on, this applies to all Microsoft Office software, including Excel and Word. So we're done with this because now, you know, this guy in example one is just screwed. He has to make that whole slide again and he's done with it. Now, let's say the exact same circumstances happen, right, with these slides over here. So I'm going to delete these guys over here. I'm going to follow the exact same conditions that we're told it with with the previous sort of example, right? So the boss says, I want you to delete the slide. You know, I want you to make this six points. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to do it really quickly. Pull that to the left, group it up. Delete this guy. Align it to the middle. Put a number, increase it, press bold. Group that up. Two, three, make sure there's good distribution. Group that up, move this to the left. Group everything up and bring it up here. And just change the numbers. Three, four, five, six, right? And uh, then you move on to the next slide here. Actually, let's just ungroup this just to be sure that we're, you know, we're on we're on point with this one. So we're going to ungroup everything there. Then you move on to here, and you know he's telling you to go with the six point mark. So you're just going to delete that. You're going to move it here, and you're going to group this. Except you're not going to group that. You're going to group this. You're going to go to arrange, align, align middle. Sorry, arrange, align, align center. That's the second time I made that mistake. Mistakes are about to happen, guys. I'm telling you. Right, you're gonna move that up here a bit. Maybe even make this a bit wider, just for the sake of uh, the slide. Maybe even choose to space out everything. So you just go like one group here, one group here, one group here. And notice what, what I'm doing, right? Everything that I'm doing right now is an action that is registered in PowerPoint, which means that it'll take up one mistake. Just keep that in mind, right? And uh, I'm gonna move this one to the right all the way here, maybe distribute horizontally, just for the sake of it, group up everything and put it in the center, just like that. And then your boss is like, hey, you remember that first slide that I told you about? That first slide that, that, you, that I told you to, to, to just get rid of the deck? I want it back. At this point, if you have 150 undos, you can literally say, boss, no worries, I have you. Don't even worry about it. Let me show you how, right? You're going to, Highlight both of these slides here. You're going to copy or cut them. I'm just going to copy them for the sake of this tutorial, right? At this point, because you copied both of these slides over here, right? You can now go crazy. Because now you can press Control Z all the way back, right? All the way, because you have 150 mistakes, my friend. You can go through 150 mistakes, no issues. You can just keep going back. Look at this. It is literally like I'm pressing a rewind button. 
all the way, and boom, there's our slide. And then you can delete these two guys and you can paste the two new guys. And there you go, right? That is how awesome this tip really is to me. And when I, when I understood it, when I found it was actually available to me, my mind was blown and my work was done much more effectively and much more efficiently. So again, how do we do this? Remember, we have to go to file, we have to go to options, and then we have to click on advanced. And then we have to change this number from 20 to 150, just like you see over here, all right? So one more time, guys, this tip is super valuable. If you don't believe me, just go ahead, try and check it out, play around with it, and you will be thanking me. I promise you, you will be thanking me. And that is it for this week. Remember, do check out the sleek PowerPoint template. The link literally is in the description. Click that, check it out. You're not going to lose anything if you just check out the slides. I promise you, you'll love it. I will see you guys next week. Have a great summer. This is Yoyo signing off. Bye-bye.